Stickers continue to be a very popular accessory item, and there's no shortage of print-on-demand stickers out there that are available for your online store. We have a few options here in front of us, all available from Printify, that we're going to take a look at, and then we'll talk about some niche ideas as well as some selling options. So stick... You know, I would normally say stick around here, but that seems way too cheesy. So hang around and let's talk about stickers for your Etsy print-on-demand shop. Before we get started, I want to mention Printify is the sponsor of today's video and they provided these sticker samples so that we could do this review. If you've been looking to branch out into some accessory type items for your Etsy print on demand shop or just your online print on demand shop on another platform, stickers can be a pretty nice option for you. There are certainly a lot of options out there in terms of print on demand stickers. You've got general regular shapes like round stickers, square stickers. One very popular item though are die cut or kiss cut stickers. And so that's what all of the samples are that we have to look at today. We've got outdoor, we've got indoor clear, indoor white, and and then we've also got the sticker sheets that are available from Printify. The first two stickers that we have here are the Kiss Cut stickers that are available from Spoke Custom Products. I specifically wanted these samples uh, because they are the lowest price uh, sticker options that are currently available on Printify that I could see in the catalog, especially if you have a Printify premium account. If you don't have a Printify premium account, but you are making regular sales, you may want to consider that. I have a whole separate video about basically the threshold of where Printify premium is worth it because of the higher profit margins you can get with lower prices. So check the description and I'll put a link in the corner to that video as well. I also have a coupon code in the description. If you go to your payments page and enter POD insights in the coupon field, you'll get 30 days of free premium. It only works if you don't currently have a premium account and that coupon is good through December 31st, 2022. All right. So as I mentioned, these stickers are, are all the way down to almost a dollar in price with the Printify premium account. And this is a transparent uh, background sticker. And then this is a white base background sticker. And they are, these are both the kiss cut. This is the larger size. This is the four inch size. Nope, six. I forgot what size I ordered. This Bigfoot silhouette sticker is the largest six inch size. And then this little coffee cup sticker is the four inch size. The sticker sizes, when it comes to kiss cut stickers or die cut stickers, the size that's quoted is the size of the blank. Once you actually remove the sticker, it's going to be smaller than the actual blank. So I just want to point that out that you definitely want to maximize the size of the sticker within the design space that you have for each size. And you also want to put in your descriptions as well as possibly even in one of the images, uh, just sort of a disclaimer that with these kiss cut stickers or die cut stickers, the actual size of the sticker will be slightly smaller than the, the stated dimensions, especially if it the design is not square. This Bigfoot silhouette is a great example because it's, you know, maybe almost six inches tall, but it's definitely not gonna be six inches wide no matter what because the design is not a square, it's more portrait orientation. The edges are pretty clean. You know, the transparent edge, it's not like it disappears completely, but it, it definitely um, blends in more than the white background. Speaking of the white background, the print quality on this one, this little coffee mug design, uh, actually came out very, very sharp and crisp, I think. So let's put this on my notebook. I think that came out very nice. I think the, uh, the colors are pretty bright. The, the uh, lines are nice and sharp. The die cut area worked nicely around the smaller details that are on this sticker, which that's one thing I was looking for. Now let's talk about the two stickers from Printed Simply. The first one, this is a sample of a vinyl outdoor use sticker. And it's also obviously a die cut or kiss cut sticker, but this one is intended for indoor or outdoor use. So it's intended to be a little bit more durable and naturally it's thicker. If you are selling stickers with the intent of them being used outdoors, or if you just wanna give customers the option of a sticker that can be used outdoors, you can always add these into the same listing with your lower cost indoor use stickers. So keep that in mind, the combo listing is always a viable option here as well. And if you wanna know how to do that with Printify, I'll put a link in the corner and in the description to my video about how to use SKU numbers to combine different products into one listing. This one is transparent as well, so now you probably cannot see this design at all. Let me maybe put it on the back of this. 
The print quality came out nice and crisp on this one. No concerns whatsoever with that. Now let's talk about the sticker sheet. These sticker sheets give you a lot of flexibility and we'll see in some search results when we take a look at some niche ideas that sticker packs are a very popular way to sell stickers, which makes sense because it can make the price look like it's more of a value for getting multiple stickers. But I like this because it breaks this up into four quadrants. So this is an eight and a half by 11. They also have a smaller size sticker sheet as well. And the way these came out is really, really nice. I think the print quality on, on the sticker sheet is actually probably the best out of any of the samples that I got. I did the transparent option. Let's put this one up here. And this is just something to be aware of. Now this may have been obvious, so maybe I don't need to point it out, but the transparent stickers don't look great on every background. If you don't have a light colored background, what'll happen is what's happening up here. So it makes a lot of sense to offer both white and transparent to your customers as product variants within the same listing. Now, just to test the kiss cut or die cut process on these sticker sheets, I also included one of my POD Insights light bulb here because the little rays coming off the light bulb, I was wondering how delicate they would be and I got it. So they all came off together, none of them detached, but it is a little bit delicate. I could see a customer maybe tearing one like this. All right, so let's hop over to the computer. We'll talk about the pricing of all of these options as well as some options for ways you can include them in your listings, and we'll also talk about some of the niche research ideas as well. All right, we are gonna start by taking a look at some niches for stickers here, and then we will go back to the Printify catalog and we'll take, start taking a look at pricing and some selling options that we have. So what I did is I just put stickers in as an Etsy search, and then I popped open the Sales Samurai Chrome extension to try and find some lower competition uh, search terms for sticker, because there were over 3 million search results for just stickers. I put a, a limit in here for competition at 3,000. So we're only seeing search terms for sticker that have less than 3,000 competing listings. And one opportunity that I see here towards the top of the list with about 1,000 monthly searches and 2,000 competitors is opossum sticker. So opossum or opossum, uh, they, people search for it either way. If we take a look at that search result, we're going to see some pretty humorous uh, opossum related stickers out here. And what we want to do if we're interested in getting into this niche is do a couple of assessments here, just like we always would of the competition in the niche before we dive in and start making any listings. So for stickers specifically, I'm looking for price, which is as usual, I'm looking for our competitors offering free shipping or not. And then for stickers specifically, I'm gonna be looking for are people selling in this niche, mostly sticker packs or sets or individual stickers. Really what I wanna know is, is there anything that would make me stand out and do something that other sellers are not doing? Maybe if I wanted to do a sticker pack and try and stand out, I'd go with a sticker sheet but it looks like I could I could definitely compete with individual uh, stickers. Now, that being said, we do have several options. We have the kiss cut or die cut stickers, both spoke custom products and printed simply offer them. The pricing is the lowest, as I mentioned earlier with spoke custom products. Uh, the shipping is $3.99 from spoke custom products. Uh, so the shipping is higher cost than the actual item price itself. So if we're gonna do free shipping, that means building in that $3.99 into the price for uh, for orders in the United States. Now, there's not much differentiation in price between the different sizes. The largest size is, you know, less than 70 cents more than the smallest size. So I definitely recommend still offering the smallest size because that will let you show the lowest price possible in search results if you're selling individual stickers. Now, if we do a quick price comparison, because I'd have to jump around to multiple pages and all that, I, I threw them into a spreadsheet here. I just compared all of the sizes of those kiss cut stickers from spoke custom products to the two sizes of sticker sheets that are available from printed simply so the lowest total cost for one two by two stickers 506 the lowest sticker sheet cost for the smaller size the six by four inch size is nine dollars and 32 cents I had the eight and a half by 11 inch size as the sample we looked at. That one costs $11.96. This is all based on Printify premium pricing, by the way. So it's interesting to note that even if you got the largest size kiss cut sticker from Spoke Custom Products, you could sell four of them for almost the same, co a lower cost actually, than one of the large size sticker sheets. One reason why I would go with the sticker sheet over selling individual would be, let's say I found multiple designs that I like for this niche, like say I found four different designs that all fit within this niche and I wanna sell them as a pack. Well, the sticker sheet is a really easy way to do that where I can show right in my primary thumbnail that, hey, you're buying a sticker pack with 
four different stickers in it. So let's just check the pricing really quick on this and then we'll take a look at a design. So two inch by two inch at 506. If I come to my Etsy fee calculator with Allura here, 506, let me just start by guessing $8 and see where that lands me. Uh, that's a profit margin of 22%, $1.73. is putting me around 22%, a profit. Now, I don't really love the idea of 22%. Don't get me wrong. One other thing to keep in mind is we are pricing the lowest price sticker of all the sizes. So one strategy that I've seen a lot of other sellers use when I'm researching competition is they will accept a lower profit margin on their lowest priced item because that helps them look more competitive in search results. And then they have a higher profit margin on some of the other sizes that they offer. I might accept 22% on the two inch by two inch size, but then I price my larger sizes to be at 35% or more because you're not gonna see that price until you get into the listing. Uh, I'm going to grab a design from Vexels and then we'll take a look at actually making one of these listings. All right, so we are creating a Kiss Cut sticker from Spoke Custom Products, and I did find a design I'll show you in just a second. We're gonna click on prices and variants first though, because this is where we're gonna say which sizes we wanna offer. There's only four, so there's really no harm in offering all four. So I've got all four sizes here, and one thing you definitely wanna do, as I mentioned earlier, is maximize the size of this design within your printable area. So you wanna make it as big as possible so that it really is close to being two inch by two inch, like I mentioned earlier. Now, because these are square, the aspect ratio is the same. It should scale up automatically for you on your larger sizes. You shouldn't have to make any adjustments there really. With kiss cut or die cut stickers, there's one design issue you need to watch out for, and that is any really delicate or small areas of attachment of the elements within your design. So you can only get that by looking at the preview. So look down near the the possum's foot here by the B, there's only one spot where this lower text connects to the rest of the design. That means when the customer is peeling the sticker off the backing, it could tear in that one spot because that's a very small connection and it's only in one spot. So I would take this bottom text and move it up. And then you should see, um, if you come back and do this preview again, you should see a much bigger connection between them. And as long as you have at least two connection points with something like this on the bottom, it will help prevent tearing. All right, so we talked about pricing a little bit and we also talked about the sticker sheet versus uh, individual stickers. So as I mentioned with this one, I would go with probably individual and I might add a sticker sheet as a variant in my listing, if nothing else, then as a method to give a quantity discount. Speaking of quantity discounts, Etsy kind of makes it a little bit of a nightmare for us, for sellers who sell multiple different product types within their store when it comes to quantity discounts. Now, if you have an Etsy shop that is all one product type, like all mugs or all stickers, then giving a quantity discount like a coupon code or running a sale that's a quantity discount is very easy. And it works perfectly for you because every item in your store is the same type of product. So you wanna give the same discount to all of your listings. But if you're a seller like me, where you offer multiple products in your shop, like t-shirts, sweatshirts, stickers, mugs, those don't all have the same pricing, of course. So you don't always wanna offer the same discount. So unfortunately, I only know of three options for giving quantity discounts for stickers. And if you are a seller with multiple types of products in your shop, none of these options are perfect. But let's still talk about them so that you know at least what options I'm aware of. If you know of an option for doing a quantity discount on an item like this that would still sync with your print on demand shop, please let me know in the comments because I would love to know an easier way to do this. There are primarily two ways to offer quantity discounts to customers. One is to offer a discount when they have a certain quantity in their cart, meaning they add more than one of the item to their cart. Each one of them costs $7.99, so that's the price they would see, but then they would actually get a discount for buying multiple, which would bring it down to your target price, which is $15.99 in this case. And so that would come in the form of either a sale or a coupon. So Etsy allows you to do either one, and you can find that by going to your marketing tab and going to sales and discounts. You can have a quantity-based sale or a quantity-based coupon. Basically, the only difference is that the customer has to enter the coupon code if you go the promo code route versus they don't have to do anything if you're running a sale because it's automatically applied when they add a certain quantity to their cart. So in this case, we'd be talking about running a sale. And so we would run a 50% off sale and we would set it to number of items as four. And then we would have to set a duration for our sale and it can only run 
30 days at a time. So maximum right now would be to go one month ahead, which is August 8th. So we'd have to give the sale a name and we do review and confirm. And oh, here's the problem. Doing it this way applies the sale to your entire shop. So if a customer buys any four items, any four items, they're going to automatically get 50% off their order. So again, if your shop is all stickers, then you're good to go with this. Very easy. You renew the sale once a month if you always want to have it. But if you're a seller like me and you have t-shirts, sweatshirts, hoodies, mugs, all this other stuff in your store, customers will get 50% off anytime they buy any four items. So that does not work for me. I do not want that. The other option is to create a promo code, basically doing the same thing. So we still select 50% off. We select the number of items is four. We can start it today. One benefit to doing this is you can select no end date. So you don't have to constantly renew this as a sale if you want it to be there all the time. I can put sticker four here, review and confirm and oh crap, we're running into the same problem. And this is why I kept saying that Etsy makes this difficult. So this is a little bit better because now it's a coupon code and the coupon code is sticker four. So the customer has to enter sticker four during checkout to get 50% off and they can only do it. It'll only work if they have four items or more in their cart. But again, there's no ability to select individual listings that this sale applies to. So a customer could add any four items from my store to their cart and get 50% off. Now by naming it sticker four, it gives the impression that it will only work on stickers. However, online shoppers can be pretty savvy and they could also just get 50% off by accident. They could add four stickers to their cart and then add a t-shirt to their cart and then they'll get 50% off of all of that stuff. So again, this option just doesn't really work for me. A third option, also using a promo code, just basically reduces your risk a little bit, but it's still not a great solution. So you can, instead of doing a quantity discount, you can do a percentage off discount of 50% and not select a number of items or order total, just do none. We can still have it run forever. I can still call it sticker four. And when I hit continue now, now I can select individual items. So I can go to either add individual items or I could add the sticker section of my store. If I created a section just for stickers, I could add that whole section. And now when I do review and confirm, it creates the coupon code. We don't have any quantity minimum built into this coupon. So even if the customer only bought one sticker, they could still use this coupon code and get 50% off, which would mean Basically, I would lose money on that order. That is definitely a risk. Just like we had a risk with doing it the other way, we had the risk of getting a huge discount on products that we don't want a discount. This way, we have a risk of having the customer use the coupon code on an individual sticker. However, there are two things to keep in mind here. One is you can... You can mitigate this a little bit by the way you name the coupon and the way you present the coupon code. So remember, I call this one sticker four. And so what I would do is I would advertise this in my sticker listings. And I'd probably make an image using Canva or something to add to the, the sticker listings that would say, you know, buy any four stickers and use the code sticker four to get 50% off. So I'm telling the customer, you need to buy four stickers to use this coupon code. Does that mean everybody will do that? No, but the other thing to keep in mind is that to me, the risk is a little bit lower here because consider the other scenario. Remember, if we built this coupon code to be based on a quantity of four with a 50% discount, if the customer, let's say they bought a hoodie in the same order with their stickers, just do some really rough conservative math. If you charge $32 for a hoodie and give somebody 50% off, they're only going to pay you $16 before Etsy fees are taken out of that for a hoodie that costs you a minimum of $20 these days. I don't think you can get a print on demand hoodie for under 20 bucks. If you can tell me in the comments, cause I want to know. <laughs> And so if we use our calculator with those really rough numbers of a set, you, you're getting $16 for that hoodie and it costs me $21, I think is my average right now from my lowest priced uh, print on demand provider. So I would lose $6.97. But if I do it the other way, then my risk is that I sell a sticker for $7.99 and they get 50% off and it costs me $5.06 for that one sticker. So, so my risk is losing $1.90 in that case. Now, that might be a tiny bit higher for the largest sticker size, but the point is the risk is a little bit lower in terms of the dollar amount that you would lose by having a customer sort of work the system to use the coupon for a way that you're not intending it to be used. Now, if that still sounds crazy to you to plan on situations where you'd be losing money, 
I agree with you. It's crazy that Etsy does not allow us to have a quantity-based sale for only specific items in our shop, but unfortunately they don't. The second way to give a quantity discount is to add variants into your listing that actually reflect a discounted price for buying higher quantities. Now this gets around all of those issues with coupon codes and you know applying sales and things to items you don't intend, but it means you're gonna have a manual order fulfillment process. So you may have already stopped listening based on what I just said, but if you want to know what it is, then keep watching. So if we go to this sticker listing that I just pushed from Printify for the opossum, here we've got one individual uh, listing for all of the different variant combinations. We've got the different sizes and then white and transparent. We would need at a minimum of six more variants to this where we are giving a discounted price for buying a larger quantity. So just show, let me just show you what I mean. We need to come into edit variations and we would use the size option to add um, additional variants. So I would do two inch by two inch, four pack. And then I would do that for the other sizes as well. So now I've got a transparent and a white option for a four pack of all of my sizes. Now I'm gonna need to update the quantity and the price for these. Here is where the sort of the, the caveat or here's where the issue comes in. So there's no way for me to tell Printify through the SKU number that this is a quantity of four. I can make it at least sync the order without manually having to import it by copying the SKU number from up here. So I would, this is the two by two transparent. So I can copy that, put it here. So what'll happen now is if a customer buys the two by two four pack in transparent, they will pay $15.99 and the order will still sync to my Printify account, but it will come through as a quantity of one of the two by two transparent, and I will have to go update that order to a quantity of four. That means you cannot have your account set to automatic order submission, because if you don't go grab this order and change the quantity to four, they're only gonna receive one and they will not be thrilled with that. So hence why I said this is not a perfect solution. It gives customers the ability to buy a higher quantity at a lower price. It eliminates all of the risk that comes with using coupon codes or sales to do it, but it means you have a manual order fulfillment process. So like I said, unfortunately, none of those three options are really ideal. There's definitely some opportunity out there in selling print on demand stickers. If you found this information helpful, do me a favor and hit that like button so that more people can see this video and subscribe to the POD Insights channel if you wanna see more of videos like this. Thanks everybody, see you next time.